Okay, so we have another gluing art science activity. What you're going to need is some elbows, or if you have bow ties, those will work even better. Um, but you can use any kind of pasta. We're going to be making butterflies. Um, it's just to get the kids out of the, um, into the kitchen and glue in. And get some glue. And I took out some of my noodles. And some markers or paint. It depends on your kid if you want to trust them with paint. Um, if not, let them use markers. I'm using markers uh, just because it's easier and quicker to draw for the activity. So what you're going to do is let them color some of their noodles. And they can just color it real quick. If you're using paint, it's going to take a little bit longer to draw. Um, but if you want a quick activity, just something to keep them busy for a little bit, let them color it with markers. It works just as fine. And you're going to let them color maybe about 10. It just depends on how long you want to let them uh, stay busy and work with the markers or paint. And I'm going to go ahead and color some of these in just a second. Alright, so I went ahead and colored some of my noodles. And I drew some grass at the bottom a sun at the top and what you're going to want to do is grab your glue glue the opposite side that was painted and I'll zoom you in here in just a second you're going to need four elbows because what we're trying to do here is make some butterflies and they'll come out really cute um, if you have the bow ties, they come out a little bit better. But again, you can use any kind of noodle you have in the house. It takes just a second. And once you have it glued, um, you can draw the antennas if you want to let the kids. Go ahead, let them draw the antennas. Draw some squigglies, and then you can draw the lines of where the butterfly was flying. Um, let me see, I can do a couple. And let me draw one more and glue one more butterfly. And for the littler kids, or the older kids as well, um, you can have them count how many butterflies, or you can tell them how many butterflies you want them to have on the page, adding a little bit more of the math into it. I'm going to draw the antennas. And if it doesn't come out perfect, don't worry about it. It's just having fun and making a picture. And let me move the camera so that you can see just like that and that's our finished project hope you like it guys